over 5000 years ago a cluster of habitations sprang up on the fertile banks of the indus river let us learn more about the exciting archaeological discovery of harappan civilization in this chapter we will study the following concepts indus valley civilization its discovery and extent growth and development of harappan culture harappa and mohenjo-daro town planning public buildings life of the people occupations and crafts religion seals and script the fall of the harappans early man's life we know that life was a struggle for early man but over time some key discoveries transformed his life he learned how to make fire and put it to use for cooking food and keeping away predators he invented the wheel and learned how to cultivate plants that gave him food the knowledge of irrigation led to controlled agriculture which assured him of a steady source of food he domesticated animals and further stabilized his life farming a settled life early man no longer needed to drift from place to place looking for food he abandoned his nomadic life and started leading a settled life when a number of families had settled at a place their cluster of dwellings became the nucleus of a village towns and cities in course of time these grew into towns and cities with large populations river valleys this was particularly true for river valleys which had fertile soil and which offered a constant supply of water indus valley civilization as trade developed craftsmen started living together villages of craftsmen developed into towns or cities weavers potters carpenters and others tended to cluster in their own separate hamlets these people were all mutually dependent each relied on producing something of value to others over 5000 years ago one such cluster of habitations sprang up on the fertile banks of the indus river spread over a large area these knots of human habitations came to be collectively known as the indus valley civilization or the harappan civilization after harappa as one of these cities came to be called by the modern archaeologists who discovered it discovery and extent about 150 years ago railway lines were being laid in the punjab region at the site of the then known city of harappa in present day pakistan the construction work needed bricks and high quality bricks were discovered locally the people of the area had been using these old bricks that they found when they dug here and there no one bothered to ask where these old bricks came from railway contractors and workers also began recycling these very old bricks and the news spread by word of mouth finally about 80 years ago the archaeological survey of india conducted excavations to find out where such bricks came from harappa and mohenjo daro were situated in the indus valley therefore this civilization came to be known as the indus valley civilization over the last 40 years the buried remains of many other such cities have been found in the northern and western parts of india these cities resemble those of the indus valley cities so far discovered include roper in punjab lothal sarkotada dholavira in gujarat Kalibangan in Rajasthan and Banavali in Haryana drainage system the street draining were kept covered with stone slabs the drainage system shows that the indus valley people were very particular about cleanliness and hygiene most of the drains were covered almost every house had a bathroom and near the bathroom there was a well there was a courtyard and an oven for baking bread in every house The housewife also had a place to sit and grind her spices with a pestle and mortar. Houses. Most of the houses were double-storied. The bigger houses belonged 
to the merchants and those who were well off. From the houses excavated, it appears that there were at least three distinct social groups. One group was that of rulers who seemed to have lived in the citadel area. The second group was that of merchants and traders who lived in the lower parts of the city. The third group was that of the laborers who, being poor, lived in small houses. Life of the people The people of the Indus Valley civilization were very hard working. They lived a happy life. Geographical extent. Historians have not yet been able to discover who were the builders of this civilization. Some say that Dravidians built it, others say that Aryans built it, still others say that Sumerians built it. Historians are still trying to decipher the language on the seals found at different Harappan sites. Town planning. The cities of Harappa and Mohenjo-daro were divided into two parts. One part built on higher ground is called the citadel. This part included public buildings, granaries, workshops and religious buildings. The other part of the city was called the lower town where common people lived and worked. Whenever floods came, populace of the lower part shifted to upper part. The citadel was built on a high platform. It had high walls which provided protection during floods. It was on the citadel that most public buildings like the granaries, town hall and the great bath food grains were brought and stored in the big granaries which consisted of series of brick platforms which were divided into smaller storage blocks. Near the granaries were the furnaces of metal workshops. Workers and craftsmen lived in small rooms around workshops. Public Buildings Ruins of public buildings can be seen at the Harappan city of Indus Valley. Also, an important discovery at Mohanjadaro is that of a very big hall. The buildings were made of baked bricks. The most remarkable discovery at Mohanjadaro is the great bath. This rectangular pool was made watertight with bitumen. The fresh water was brought in from a nearby well. There were a number of small and big rooms around the bath. The great bath was probably meant for ritual bathing. Streets The cities of the Indus Valley were well planned like modern cities. Strong, high walls were built around the cities to safeguard them. There were long, broad and straight streets. The main street was about 10 meters wide. All the streets ran in straight lines from east to west and from north to south. They bisected each other at right angles. This shows that the Indus Valley people were an urban civilization. Food The Indus Valley people had simple food habits. They ate wheat, barley, rice and vegetables. They also ate meat and fish. They were very fond of fruits, particularly bananas and pomegranates. Dress The Indus Valley people knew how to weave cotton. The women wore short skirts and used a sort of belt around their waists. The men wrapped a long piece of cloth around themselves. The clothes were made of cotton, though some wool was also used. The women dressed their hair in various styles. Both men and women were fond of wearing ornaments. The women generally wore necklaces, rings, earrings and bracelets. The men wore amulets. Rich people wore ornaments of gold, silver and ivory. But the poor wore ornaments of copper, bones and even burnt clay. Amusements and Toys The Indus Valley people knew how to make toys. Many kinds of toys have been discovered from the ruins. There are small figures of birds, 
animals, men and women which were prepared of clay. These appear to have been children's toys. Toy clay carts and whistles have also been found. Marbles were also popular with children. They were adept in making clay figurines of mother goddesses. Occupations and Crafts Agriculture was the major occupation of the Indus people. They raised crops like wheat, barley, bananas, melons and peas. Indus Valley people produced cotton perhaps much earlier than other people of the world. Apart from agriculture, the Indus Valley people domesticated animals like oxen, buffaloes, sheep and pigs. Dogs and cats were kept as pets. The Indus Valley people were also good in arts and crafts. Some of them were excellent weavers. They stitched clothes from cotton and woolen cloth. Pottery was in great demand. Beautiful pottery, a reddish color having painted designs in black lines, dots, geometrical shapes, trees, leaves and animal figures was produced. Ornaments Beads and amulets were in great demand. Beads were made of clay, stone, paste, shell or ivory. Artisans who worked on metals produced tools and implements of copper, bronze and tin. The more popular products included spears, knives, arrows, axes, fish hooks, razors and household vessels made of thin metal sheets. Metal utensils must have been used only by rich people. Women were fond of wearing bracelets and other ornaments just like their modern counterparts. Trade The Indus Valley people carried on trade both inside and outside India. They conducted their business from Kashmir Valley to the Deccan. They also had trade relations with other countries both through land and sea routes. It is said that the Indus Valley people had close commercial relations with Sumeria, Crete and Egypt. Seals and small objects made at Mohenjadaro have been found at archaeological sites in Iraq. The merchandise was shipped from Lothal where a dock had been excavated and incoming goods were unloaded here and at other places. Harappan people traded with Afghanistan. Gold was brought from Karnataka. Copper was brought from Rajasthan and Oman in West Asia. Tin, blue gemstone and lipis lazuli were brought from Afghanistan. Religion The Indus Valley people have left no inscription regarding their government, society and religion. So, we can only guess as to what their religion may have been. A Pashupati seal found at Harappa is shown here. Notice the resemblance with terracotta horns found at Birahna. The figure of a male god on a small stone seal has also been discovered. The god has three faces. The historians believe that this god was Shiva Pashupati. The people tree and the bull were also treated as sacred by Indus Valley people. Besides these, the people of Indus Valley also worshipped several other objects and symbols. It seems that these people were image worshippers. Grave Some of the Harappan people buried their dead while others cremated them. Household pottery, ornaments and mirrors have been found in graves. This gives us a clue that the Indus Valley people must have believed in life after death. Seals and Scripts Some seals made of clay or stone have been found at Mohenjadaro. They are flat and rectangular. On one side, the seal usually has the picture of a bull, a tree or some scene. There is also a line of pictographs present on these seals which shows that the Indus Valley people had a script of their own. But no one has been able to read it so far. The Fall of the Harappans A few historians think that the Aryans invaded this civilization a number of times, defeated the Indus Valley people and destroyed them. The Fall of the Harappans Some other historians believe that the frequent floods occurring on the banks of river Indus wiped out this civilization. 
the fall of the Harappans. Earthquakes are also thought to be a reason for the disappearance of this civilization. Moreover, some historians are of the view that famines and epidemics brought about their end.